every month, local law enforcement visit our studio with information on how you can help catch criminals who are wanted in our area. And this morning, the York City Police Department is asking for your assistance. Officer Derek Hartman usually joins us in studio for the segment, but to help in social distancing efforts, we asked that he send us some information for today's segment and let us give you the info. So here's who police are currently looking for. The first is 31 year old Shakela Mitchell. Officer Hartman says on April 28th, police responded to the first block of East Cottage Place for burglary reports. They say Mitchell and another man were outside a home yelling, open up, it's the police. They then forced entry into the home and assaulted people inside. The male suspect with Mitchell has been arrested. Mitchell is currently wanted on several charges, including burglary, simple assault, and impersonating a public servant. The second person police are searching for this morning is 30 year old Bernard Arnold. Arnold is wanting for strangulation and harassment after getting into an argument with his girlfriend. This all happened on May 3rd on the first block of South Penn Street. Arnold's girlfriend says he tried to choke her until she was unable to breathe. She was able to escape and then call police. Lastly, police are looking for this man, 30 year old Christopher Fonseca Otero. Fonseca Otero is wanted on strangulation and simple assault charges after getting into a physical argument with his ex fiance on April 11th on the 900 block of West College Avenue. His ex fiance says he threw her down and covered her mouth and nose, leaving her unable to breathe for several seconds. She also says Fonseca Otero struck her in the side six times. If you know the whereabouts of any of the suspects we mentioned, please contact the York City Police Department. You can remain anonymous and there are several ways you can contact them by giving them a call or texting a tip. You can also submit a tip on their crime watch page. We will also have all of this information listed on our website, fox43.com.